Hi everyone, Jessica Gardner here with UT Extension Clark County. Today I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about basic budgeting. So to start basic budgeting, it's super easy. Um, we're going to use the My Money Plan. Now this is a um, program developed by the University of Tennessee Extension and we have copies of this plan available for you to use. But today we're going to walk through it, um, break it down to see how easy it really is to so the My Money Plan is a way for us to keep track of all of our sources of income and keep track of how much money we spend, um, the things that we spend our money on, so that we can follow our spending trends. Um, it's a very easy process. It's very easy to track our spending, um, but it's also really easy to lose track of our spending. So if you are like me and you ever find yourself at the end of the month wondering where all your money went, this can be a great tool. Um, to you so that you can organize your money, you know exactly where you're spending money, you know where you need to cut back spending money, um, and you can allocate your money um, into areas that you know you need it. Um, we can determine our needs versus our wants so that we are able to track our money um, and that we have a good handle on it. We know exactly where our money's going um, and we can feel financially confident and financially stable. So the My Money Plan, we're going to walk through it super easy. Um, quickly and then we'll go through an example so we can get some hands-on experience on how we actually use this. So it's a seven page document but it's laid out in these different boxes. So step one, um, we're going to insert all of our income no matter what that looks like. Um, a job, um, SNAP benefits, unemployment benefits, child support, social security, wherever you get your income from, your monthly income, that's what we need to start with. We need to know exactly how much money we're going to be spending. The second part of that um, that we're going to do is track what we spend our money on. So we have a few easy categories that we can um, just enter in the dollar amounts for each of these things. So keeping a roof over our head, staying comfortable and connected, um, getting around. So that would be vehicles and all the expenses that come with vehicles, taking care of your family, that could be child support, life insurance, clothing, tuition, etc. Um, staying healthy is a category that can be health insurance, doctor's visits, personal care items, medications. It looks different from everybody, but this chart is laid out pretty easily that you can find a category that works well for you and you can enter in your um, own values. So we also have eating well, that can be grocery store, eating out, snacks, um, farmer's market, staying happy, so travel, books, magazines, those leisure activities um, that we can oftentimes forget that we spent so much money on. Um, we also have giving. Giving is very important to some people, whether that's charity, church, or financial help for friends and family. And then, of course, savings. So savings are um, broken down into a few different categories. It's always a good idea to have savings for um, different occasions. I know saving money is a hard thing to do, um, but it can come in handy because life happens, unexpected things happen, and it's always good to have a little cushion if you're able to. There is debt payments, so credit cards, and then we get to tally up our total expenses um, to have a total value and then all you do is subtract it from the total value of income to find the balance. Um, so the balance will be either positive or negative. If it's positive, that's a good thing. You are making more money than you're spending in a month. If it's negative, um, that is an opportunity to look at your spending habits, where you spend the most of your money and see what you can cut back on. So if we were to look at an example, so this is an example of a single person, um, um, their monthly spending, their monthly income. So if we were to take this, um, this is a really easy example. Um, if we're going to take this, we can enter it into our um, spending plan and see how we come out at the end of the month. So really easy to do. We're going to break it down. The first step, we're going to put in our income. So our monthly income, um, we have it listed. $1,854. So that's the only source of income on our example. So very easy. We'll move on to the next one. And we get into spending. So roof over our head. We're going to enter in apartment rent. Now that's just one, um, one value. So we added up the total expenses for that section and it's still $500. Staying comfortable and connected. Phones, electricity, 
garbage pickup and cable, all those things that relate to our house and the things that we um, we have to buy, we have to provide in order to live comfortably and safely. Um, so we put all of our values into our chart and we have a total at the end. Um, so getting around, this is again vehicles, so a car payment, insurance, and gasoline, because you have to have gasoline to get um, to make that car work. So again, this is a very easy example because it is a single person. Once you have a family, it can be a little harder um, to track all of your income and getting multiple vehicles um, and multiple expenditures. Um, but this is a very easy chart that is pretty self-explanatory that you can put all that data in, tally it up. Um, so taking care of the family and then staying healthy. So staying healthy, again, insurance, doctor's visits, personal care items. Now on our example here, um, personal care items, I use that as cleaning. Um, again, this can be tailored to fit your needs. If you don't feel like there is an exact place on the chart written for something that you have expense for, um, put it wherever you feel that it fits. As long as you have it recorded and it's in there, you can track your money. And then eating well, um, grocery store visits, meals at work, eating out. Um, so there is a difference between groceries and eating out. So eating out usually costs a lot more than if you were to buy groceries and prepare them for yourself at home. So when we look at reconciling, um, we'll get to that in a minute, um, but that is a place that we can always cut back on is eating out to save ourselves a lot of money. And then we have giving. So contributions to church or charity or family or friends. It's important to put note on this um, to track this as well, because sometimes we can overspend by giving. Um, it's not a bad thing to give. It's a really important thing to give. But if you set a budget and you set the amount that you're comfortable with, um, stick to it. It can be easy to um, feel like you need to give more and more, but if it fits into your budget, have a set amount and then it will be easier for you to say, no, you can't afford it this month if you already have your budget and your spending tracked out and you know that you truly can't afford it that month. And then on to saving. Now in our example, there is no savings, but again, savings are very important because life happens. You never know when something unexpected that will have a big, um, that you'll have to have a big payout on. So short-term savings are a good idea for examples like that. If you need new tires, um, emergency savings are a good idea just in case you lose your job. It's good to have, it's recommended to have a two to three month cushion of your income saved back um, just in case. Um, now, that's very daunting to think about saving three whole paychecks, um, but a little is better than none. So it's a good goal to have, but it could be a little unrealistic as long as you have something to serve as a cushion um, in case you find yourself without a job. It's a good transition. Um, it's good to have money for a transition period. So there were no things. Now we look at debt. So they, this example had two credit card debt payments. We're going to add those on paying down debt. And then we will track our total expenses. So total expenses, we just add up the bottom row of all of our um, columns. We, we add up the total of all of our categories and we'll add that up. So the total monthly expenses for our example, $1,465. So our next and final step, we are going to look down here at our total income, which again was $1,854. Subtract our total expenses, which was $1,465, to find our balance. So our balance is $398. So that's a good thing. We had um, a positive number left. We didn't overspend for the month. Our example didn't. Um, so then we can look at our plan and figure out how we want to allocate that $398 that we have left over. This is a great, um, a great amount that we could put into savings. We talked about there were no savings. Um, we could add it to savings or that leisure, um, keeping happy. So travel, books, movies, um, things like that. So adjustments that we could make if we were in the negative. So if we spent more than we made that month, where are some areas that you could cut back on? That's an important thing to look at. 
Um, and like I said earlier, eating out is a great way to say to cut back on eating out is a great way to save money. So groceries usually cost a lot less. It can be more time consuming to prepare your own meals at home, but often groceries are less than a meal out. Um, and what can you eliminate altogether? So if you find yourself spending a lot of money each month on clothes, um, maybe that's something that we can cut back on or eliminate if it's not a need. So we have to differentiate between needs and wants. Um, and that looks a little different from everybody, um, but once you find the difference in those and you decide what you can live without each month, um, that can help you eliminate some excessive spending to make sure that we you aren't spending more than you make each month. So if there was a surplus of money, like we had in our example, you can look at where you can spend more money if you... Um, maybe don't have internet and you find yourself with an extra $400 a month, maybe you could get internet, which usually runs um, much less than $400. Um, so that could be a way to spend money. And then also savings. So be proactive, start a savings account, even if it's just putting $20 in each month, whatever you spare um, could be a good cushion to have in the future for events. So it's good to have savings just in case. So again, this is the My Money Plan, very easy um, interactive tool to use. We have these available online um, or you can get a hard copy in our office. Um, just give us a call. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you would like to learn more, you can follow us on Facebook and be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.